Good morning. Good morning and the warmest of welcomes to Norton Natchbull School. Uh, my name is Ben Green and I have the tremendous privilege uh, of being head teacher here, uh, having joined two years ago. Uh, and albeit uh, a significant chunk of that time, as you can imagine, has been uh, leading the school uh, in some ways remotely, uh, it is an absolute pleasure to welcome you here uh, this morning. This is a significant event. It's a significant event for us as a school uh, because this series of open mornings that we've been running for the last couple of weeks, albeit uh, with the postponement last Thursday with the delays on Hyde Road, and I'm sorry if that impacted you. But this is significant for us because it marks the resumption of in-person events in school. I think now I can count three weeks since March 2020, and this is one of them, where I've not had a Zoom or Teams meeting. Uh, and I have to say that has been a real pleasure. Um, and it's so much better to be doing this in person uh, than remotely. So this is significant for us because hopefully it does represent the resumption of face-to-face -face events without interruption uh, and the continued lifting of those restrictions that we've all endured. And of course it's significant for you because this is a really important staging post on your son's journey from primary to secondary school. You may already, and I hope, I, I hope you've begun to explore some of the material that we've got on our website. This includes the presentation that we would normally share uh, on, on, on an open evening, where this hall would be probably twice as packed uh, as it is now. So you perhaps should be grateful for that. That presentation will be on the website. And also, by the time you've sat in these seats for about 25, 30 minutes, you'll be glad that you're not sitting in them for 40, 45 minutes. So that presentation is on our website. Um, please do uh, look at that if you haven't already in terms uh, from the comfort of your own armchairs. Uh, and there's also information about individual subjects. Uh, and there's some uh, footage of the school site, which, of course, you will be seeing later this morning. But these open mornings have always been my preferred way for prospective parents and students to see the school. It is far less busy and congested than an open evening, but above all, it's an opportunity for you to see the school in action on a normal school day. You'll get a glimpse of what lessons are like, both in terms of content and delivery. And as soon as I've finished with you this morning and you're on your tours, it may be that my lesson with my year 10 historians is one of the ones that you pop into. So you'll get an idea of content, pace, pitch and delivery. But also, and just as importantly, I think, you'll get to see the quality of the relationships that exist in school between students and between students and colleagues. You'll also be able to discuss with your Year 8 tour guide in real depth their day-to-day -day experience. And it's worth remembering that those Year 8s that will be taking you around the school in 10 or 15 minutes' time, their Year 7 last year was incredibly disrupted, not only in terms of a three-month closure period, but when they were in school, they were in bubbles or, or, or zones. So, you know, when you talk to your Year 8 guide this morning, he will tell you that for much of last year, he had all of his lessons in one classroom or one group of classrooms uh, on the top floor of our Braeborn building. And those Year 8 students have only been out of their bubble for five and a half weeks now. So they'll be able to talk to you about that experience, the differences uh, from last year to this. But I hope that the consistent thing that they share with you is the quality, as I say, of the relationships, of the support uh, and the guidance that we have provided. And being less busy than an open evening, there will be a greater opportunity, particularly as you get towards the end of the tour, uh, to raise any questions you have about transition uh, with colleagues involved. Mr Trafford in particular, uh, who's over there by the, uh, the, the side there, uh, he will be around as you end your tour uh, in and around reception along with other members of the senior team. Uh, and Mr Trafford is uh, overseas achievement in Year 7 and also our Year 6 to Year 7 transition programme. In a moment, it's at my absolute pleasure to hand over to our head boy and head girl, Tom Stadden and Tierney Fuller. Um, and they're going to give you their perspective. Tom from... Uh, the point of view of having spent seven, uh, seven years here, or he's about to uh, complete his seventh year, uh, and Tierney, who joined us two years ago. And although they are Year 13 students, I hope that what you see in them are the qualities that you would 
imagine and be pleased to see your son developing over his time with us. So do have a good morning. I'm sure you will. Uh, and it's my pleasure now to hand over to Tom. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of all the students here at NKS, I'd like to formally welcome you here today. Now, I've been at the school, as Mr Green said, since year seven, coming on for seven years here at Natchball, and I'd like to say that my time here has been absolutely wonderful. I think that the memories and the bonds that I've built here at this school are really going to see me through the rest of my life. I remember how quickly I settled in, which I think for students sitting here today is, is a key concern. Now, recently, we just held our year seven open morning which was a day dedicated to the Year 7 students joining our school, and it was to help them uh, get used to the school environment and sort of integrate themselves in the school without the fear of having the older years at the school with them. Now, at the start of the day, they were all asked to raise their hands, basically saying, are you nervous for today? Are you sort of fearful of events that could happen today? Or, you know, are you nervous? Have you got that sort of apprehension about joining the school? And every hand went up. I mean, it, it was quite safe to say that these new year sevens were, were scared. I mean, I came from a school of, of around 100 people. So to join a school as large as Natchball, uh, I was apprehensive. But at the end of the day, they were asked a similar question. But it was, having felt nervous at the start of the day, do you now feel that after one day in the school environment, you're comfortable to come back tomorrow? You'll be confident and you'll really be able to take the most of your time at NKS. And every hand went up. You know, the Year 7s in the, in the crowd, after just one day, felt that their time at Natchball would, would be one that they can build memories in, one that they could enjoy themselves and see themselves staying there for the next five years, potentially seven years. And I think that was wonderful to see. I think it demonstrates just how quickly how members of staff, and also I think being with other students, really helps you to sort of feel a bond with the school you're in. And I think that's something Natchball really excels in. Now, opportunities at Natchball are very, very, very varied. So Natchball prides itself particularly on its sport. So we've got excellent football, tennis, cricket and rugby teams. But it's not just sports which Natchball really excels at. I think extracurricular activities to do with your main subjects, I think, is something that Natchball can really pride itself on. So every year we take part in a maths challenge. There are very, various literary challenges, whether that's externally run or internally by our English department and many more opportunities. Recently, very much student-led, there's a new debating society which has opened. So students at the school really have an opportunity to integrate themselves and to sort of bring ideas forward, which in this case do get taken on board. Now, Natural is an incredibly diverse community, which I think really shines to light just how quickly it is to be able to engage yourself with other pupils and other members of staff. I think that no matter your background, you're sure that you're going to be able to fit into this school and really integrate yourself. Now, not only just the diverse community Natural has, I think it's, it's the teachers and the staff which really dedicate themselves to this school and really demonstrates what this school is best at. The so Natural has an excellent reputation for teaching, which I think can be fully backed up by the members of staff we have here at this school. Now, unfortunately, due to COVID situations, staff had to teach from their homes or indeed classrooms at school while students remained at home. And I think while a difficult situation, more so than anything, it highlighted the qualities that we have within our staff, the dedication they put in and the extracurricular um, effort and support that they will give to each student to ensure that their education was not impacted by such a difficult situation. Now, it's, it's a case of being at home and, and teaching, but it's, it's adapting to that, that teaching at home, which is what I think the school did really, really well. More so than anything else, it was the communication. I think as parents or guardians here, you want to know that the school is going to communicate with you effectively and that anything that will affect your son here is going to be effectively laid on to you. And I think that's what Mr Green certainly did excellently. So during the COVID pandemic, we received regular emails, sometimes multiple a week, to inform us of government decisions which would have an impact on our education and how the school would work and try its very hardest to ensure that any changes would not negatively impact our education. And I think reflecting on that situation, which started really 18 months ago, it's clear to see that there's not been a negative impact on our education and the school has really helped students pull through. Now, I'd like to end with a, a quick message, and that's to students here today. No matter what school you choose at the end of this, I think it's really important to see that you can envisage yourself in the school. 
And having spent nearly seven years here, I'd like to wish you all an excellent day and really hope that natural is the choice you make. I'm just going to hand you over to Tierney now, who, a little bit different for me, is going to be able to relay her experience of, as experiences of the school and explain how her time has been slightly different here from being an external student. I'd like to wish you all a wonderful day. Thank you. Hello everyone, so my name is Tierney and I'm the current head girl here at the Norton Natural. So due to being an external student, starting my journey here at Natch last year was slightly different to Tom's. I have a fresh knowledge of what it's like to join here at this school and I've always had the experience of moving from another school in year six to a secondary. I personally feel since being here, the school has offered me an immense range of opportunities to help boost me towards my goals and they've been completely supportive of me since I've joined. I feel the teachers here have a real passion for their subjects and actually care about you exceeding in your exams, pushing and guiding you to do so. As you can tell, I love coming to school here and I feel it's one of the best decisions I have made to come and study my A-levels here and become a part of the amazing community here at our school. However, I also want to discuss this with me of you all now sitting in Year 6, as I have been there to listen to all the different speeches at all the different schools and it's pretty daunting. But I want to tell you now, to trust me, it's not as daunting as it seems. It will come to you one of the best times. You'll meet amazing new people, make many new friends, learn new things and have some amazing experiences to put it in short. For me, my move to Natch did seem daunting once again, even though I'm much older now, and I was slightly nervous about if I had made the right decision. But there was no reason for me to find it that way whatsoever. Since joining on my first day, everyone here understood that I was new to the school and I didn't really know my way around and everyone was immensely welcoming and helpful to make sure I fit in as quickly as possible. And I did just that. I thought within the first day I'd fit in and I just felt comfortable coming to school here. I enjoy my subjects, I have met some amazing new people and I knew I had made the right decision to come and study here at the Norton Natural. My recommendation to you all when choosing a school for secondary, which I would love you to choose our school here at Natch, is to make sure you can see yourself in that school, as it's very important that you enjoy your time and for you to be able to fit in within the school community. It's just you need to make, the, to make sure that the decision is right for you as a person. So now I have told you about our school and my experience since joining here, I will hand over to Mr Trafford, who will make sure you go off on your tours for the year eight, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your time here today, and I wish you all the luck of choosing a secondary school. Thank you. Morning. Um, so I'm Mr Trafford. I'm in charge of Year 7 Achievement, um, which means that I run uh, Year 7 along with Miss Parsonage, who looks after the um, pastoral side of things. So I'll be um, your go-to next year, looking at pushing you and making sure that you achieve your academic potential. Um, as Mr Green said, I'm also in charge of the Year 6 to Year 7 um, transition process as well. Um, now, the first thing I'd like to do today is congratulate each and every one of you because you've been really brave. You've taken the first step towards secondary school. No matter what happens when you open those envelopes um, in a couple of weeks' time, you've been really brave, you've taken that step, and you should really be proud of doing that. So well done to each and every one of you. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Now, today you're going to have a tour with Year 8 pupils. Um, now, these pupils, as Mr Green said, have been outside of their bubble for about three and a half weeks now. So, you shouldn't get lost, um, but uh, we, we've given them maps. So, if you do, um, then we'll always be able to trace you back uh, to the entrance. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have this side of the room exit out of these doors, please, and this side of the room exit out of the doors at the back. This way we'll be able to split you up and get you into um, your tours as quickly as possible. Um, all of your tours will end at the entrance um, and I'll be there if you have any questions. It should take roughly um, an hour. Um, sometimes it's a little bit quicker. Um, sometimes the boys are less hesitant, uh, let's say, to get back to um, their lesson, um, and so it might take a little bit longer. Uh, but if you have somewhere to be, please don't be afraid to, to hurry them along if they're um, going a, a touch too slow for you. Um, but I wish you uh, the best, and I will um, talk to you and see you uh, when you finish your tour. Thank you very much. <laughs>